Hey everybody, welcome to another Quick Save Review with me, RC. If you haven't seen Quick Save Review before, basically what it is is a Let's Play mixed with a review for a game that I'm currently playing. And with Night and Plus here on the Switch, I'm not currently playing it because I've actually already covered the Steam version of this game. I believe it was sometime last year. Uh, so I can tell you right off the bat that it's good. It's a fun little game. Uh, it's sort of a... Uh, Zelda experience, I guess you could you could say. It's I, I love the uh, the title screen here, though. It's very reminiscent of old Mega Man games. Uh, but yeah, it's actually a very cool little game that I enjoyed on Steam last I played it. Uh, basically, my verdict on this is I figured we'd start from the beginning and play through the first dungeon here. And if I liked it, I could definitely uh, you know offer it as a uh, you know recommendation for people to play. This is a budget title on the Switch. I believe it's five dollars. Um, so definitely check it out if this looks appealing to you. Uh, like I said, very Zelda-esque and a fun little game. Once upon a time, in a distant kingdom far, far away. Well... You're not here to read this crap, am I right? Hmm. It's true. I'm not. I'm here to play. Uh, so, from what I remember, uh, Knighton offers four or five dungeons. And in these dungeons, you know, these are basically dungeons that are, are built to be very similar to uh, what you would find in a Zelda-style game. So you'll find it as we go here. Hey, we got our sword. But as I was saying, like, if this game runs good on the Switch, I could pretty much recommend it uh, because it, it was a, a really good game when I played it on Steam. And I could already tell right here, this already seems to be running pretty damn good on the Switch. I don't see any slowdown, I don't see any issues. So this looks like it uh, might be a recommendation for anybody out there looking for their top-down Zelda fix here. Uh, one of my favorite things about Knighton, though, is the is the title. Like I said, uh, I, I believe I said in the <laughs> previous video I did for the Steam version, Knighton just sounds like, you know, uh, like an old <laughs> Ice Cube or you know some, some type of some type of uh, rap song from the '90s or something like We Be Knighton. It's it's got that kind of feel to it, which always makes me laugh. But this is Knighton Plus, and I have been trying to figure out since I played the original game what the plus is in this game. Like, what is it? What is the plus? Is there an original Knighton? There must be, if this is plus, right? Seems like this is going to be a very easy puzzle to figure out. Or maybe not. I forget how we figured this one out. I thought there was another room that actually had the pillars, right? There's a sword. I was trying to see if there was like a dodge move as well, but it doesn't look like, it doesn't seem like there is. Aha, here it is. So it's diagonal just like that. So you can see in the center of the screen there, they actually did have the uh, cheat sheet there, which I do remember. So we light this one, this one. There it is. We got it. We, we had it almost there. And we got a key. So this whole first dungeon is actually, you know, it's pretty much played up as a uh, tutorial of sorts. Um, it's put together really, really well. Uh, the knight, uh, in my opinion, he uh, controls a bit slow compared to what you might find with Link in the Zelda game. I feel like Link is a little bit faster than this guy. Uh, but... It doesn't seem to, like, hinder anything. It's not, like, a big deal. It's just not super fast-paced gameplay. Uh, so we got this guy who's the uh, guy who sells stuff in the dungeon here, the merchant. What are you buying? You know, that guy. Uh, so you can come in here and buy stuff for gold. Um, but I don't remember ever really needing to do that. Uh, you can buy keys, though. If you, for some reason, can't figure out puzzles and stuff, I thought that when I played this previously that that was a really nice... Uh, thing to do for players who just, like, are not good at figuring out the puzzle aspect of these games, you know? Uh, not that the puzzles in this game seem to have been hard in any sh sort of way, you know? It's more about figuring out where, uh, you know, where, where the pillars are supposed to light up and that kind of thing. No, no big deal there, really. But... For players who are younger playing this and they're just not putting it together, they can go buy a key. Which I think is a nice alternative. 
Come here, dude. <laughs> He's flying away from me. Uh, the enemies in this so far, uh, at least in this first room here, they don't seem uh, super smart. You know, obviously they're running away from me. They're not really going after me. You're not going to be getting any kind of like Binding of Isaac type of difficulty, at least out of this first dungeon. If I remember correctly, the other dungeons do offer more of a challenge. Uh, so you're going to have to play through this one to get through it to, uh, you know, face those challenges. Here we are at one, two. Uh, let's see. I've, here's... That's the world map. I thought that there was a way to bring up an actual map of both floors. I guess not. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, here we go. Now we got some enemies that are coming after me. No, they don't do the predictable thing of turning into smaller jellies or anything to come after you. I feel like that's what most games would, would have done at this point. <laughs> they have a big jelly and it's like, oh, the big jelly, when you destroy it, turns into a bunch of little jellies. Here we go. Here's a room for you. I feel like I somewhat remember this. I don't think you can destroy the, the pillars that come to life. I do remember trying to do so previously, and I think it was like kind of frustrating because I couldn't do it. Yeah, there you go, the doors are open. So those guys will always be there, which is a little annoying, but what can you do? But that room is now open. Move down here and save. Let's head over here. Kill the mushrooms, even though they don't seem to be threatening in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so this stair led down to this. There we go, we got another key, which I'm sure we'll need, and those have gone down, giving us a little bit of a shortcut. And all the enemies do respawn, but you can still go through the doors, which is nice. I don't think we still need Oh, okay, so we got another thing we gotta do here. We gotta go back and use our key in the key room. We'll grab a game save there. Pretty generous with game saves in this game as well, which I think is nice. Oh, we do gotta take these guys out again, though. a shield. Place in front of anything dangerous as simple as that. There we go. There's our shield. Let's get the uh, top left button. The game could still be, I guess, like a little bit more friendly as far as like explaining to you like what buttons do what and that kind of thing. Like, I understand I can use a sword and a shield, but it doesn't really tell you which buttons. You gotta kind of experiment to figure that out. Not a deal break or anything like that, but... Definitely something that the game could do a little bit better. Woo! Oh, I get hit again. Give me my gold. There we go. Get some health back. And we will take out this mushroom as well. Woo! Big gold piece for that one. All right, so those are now down. It is nice too, if you put your shield up, he will kind of stay in that position too, like you can see here, to block whatever's coming at him. Oh, we got another one of these. A matter of finding out which one should be on and off again. So which room is gonna have that information for us? Smiley face. Maybe up here? Nope, definitely not here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's see, how about down here? Or rather, up here. You can never tell where those stairs are leading. 
little gold pieces. We just hit a hundred. Oh my god, come back here. Mm, let's go to the left here. Okay, we gotta find a way to come up here. There we go. More gold. I like that you don't have to go chasing it once it explodes like that. It'll just kind of come to you. It's always good. Oh, we got some shooty monsters here. The AI starts coming for you. Oh, you jerk. Oh, he is really doing a number on me. Just trying to get at him. Get some health back. There's some health. Oh, come on. Come on, mushroom. Oh, there we go. I really like what the enemies turn into when you take them out, too. Like, I like that the this monster here just turns into this big eyeball with an X over it. Very cartoony, very fun. We're back on one, two here. And we got a key, which is great. We still have not figured out where we're going. We're going for it here. Oh, run through. Not figured out where the pillars are. They're going to show us how to get through to that corner room. Don't exactly see that anywhere. Ah, we can't get in there yet. Not get in there yet. Did we miss it somewhere? So we haven't gone this way yet. There's our buddy, the merchant, again. There's a key door. These monsters have definitely hit me more than any other monsters so far. I've taken it for granted because I'm like, yeah, I've been super powerful up to this point. I can take them out. Hey, we got a ring. Ring of speed allows you to dash because walking is slow and boring. No doubt. There it is. So I do remember the dash thing. I was going to say, I, I remember we were able to do something like dash or... Uh, roll or something like that, so I'm glad I wasn't, like, completely misremember uh, misremembering that. There we go, save there. Oh. We're down on hearts, but what's nice, though, is they do offer a save point, and if we don't make it through here... Oh no, we can't make it through there. So I did not see a place where that actually tells you the pillars. We, we have not seen that yet. Oh, I see. You know what's funny is on screen, I just noticed this. If you look right to the uh, to the right of the knight, we'll say his, his right now, uh, you can see ZR and R up here. And those are the buttons they put on screen to let you know what button you're supposed to hit to be able to dash. That's funny. I did not notice that before. Uh, we're gonna actually go back to the sky because I never found what the pillars are supposed to be, or the lights, rather, uh, in that one room to get the next key, so I'm gonna buy a key. I've got so much gold as it is anyway. I say, let's do it. Now, the you'll notice up in the top, uh, above my webcam, where the ring is, if you use a dash, you can see it does have a small cooldown, which is kind of nice to let you know, like, when you can do it again. <laughs> But here we go. Here's the first boss. Quag. Almost a dragon. Alright, so you go after him like so. So you really gotta use your dash here. Oh! Basically, you gotta wait for the sound. And that's where you can go. Does he start shooting? What does he do? 
Oh, yeah, I lost it right there. Takes a lot of hits. Wow, I can't believe I wasn't hit right there. Got him. I thought I died. I thought the knight was like, I'm dead. I don't know. <laughs> but there you go. We took him out. The crown made of pure gold rolled to the knight's feet. The job here is done. Sir Loot a lot excla exclaimed, Well, uh, rather while, stashing a trophy into his trustworthy inventory. So that's how the infamous almost a dragon went down. Good. We took him out. It's a nice little pixel art there. Kind of wish there was a little bit more of that pixel art throughout the game. Uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. That is Night and Plus. Um, I believe in my other Steam video, if you want to see more of this game, um, I played through either the Ancient Pyramid or the Deserted Temple. I forget. It was one of the two. I forget which one. Um, but this game's cool. I, I, I think that uh, it's really well made. It's a seems like a real short, fun experience. Um, but uh, regardless, you know... Uh, it's, it's a budget title, so keep that in mind when you are uh, going to look at it yourself and see if it's right for you. Uh, but regardless, yeah, fun fun little Zelda clone here that I, I think is definitely worth the uh, the five dollars if, if you're looking for you know a little bit more top down Zelda in your life because you haven't been getting any lately. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but guys, I want to th uh, say thank you for watching, and of course, I'll see you all in the next quick save review. See you then.